for the non homogeneous system of equations which means that for your right hand side at least one of b1 b2 bn is non zero let's see how to solve this so the general matrix representation is ax equals b so pre multiply it by a inverse so a inverse times a times x equals a inverse times b you have to do the operation on both sides of the equation to keep the relation the same and provided a inverse exists then you will recognize this part a inverse times a as the identity matrix of order n equals a inverse times b and any matrix multiplied by identity is just itself so that gives us the solution a inverse times b provided a inverse exists so that is adjoint of a over determinant of a times b so this is the method to find the solution of a set of linear equations in n unknowns now there are some special cases mm. uh, so this thing works fine if the determinant is non zero now what happens if the determinant is zero so the special case if determinant of a is zero look at the numerator of this expression if adjoint of a times b if this product is not zero the system of equations this whole system of equations is inconsistent and it has no solution hmm. but if uh, the numerator is also zero in addition to the denominator being 0 then the system is consistent and it has an infinite number of solutions ok so this is one way using matrix operations to solve a system of simultaneous linear equations a second way is using determinants or what is known as Kramer's rule for the same system of equations a x equals b the solution for each unknown variable is given as x i equals 1 over determinant of a times this determinant so a 1 1 a 2 1 a n 1 a 1 2 a 2 2 a n 2 and then observe this carefully find the ith column of the determinant so a 1 i replace it by b 1 a 2 i replace it by b 2 yeah so this is a substitution operation you do not keep the original term a 1 i a 2 i and so on keep replacing this by the elements of the right hand side b n and then the rest of the determinant stays the same all the way up to a 1 n a 2 n a n n so this this whole operation uh, we can write it in shorthand as a i over a where the determinant a i basically means that you are substituting the ith column of that determinant by the right hand side or the elements of matrix b and this is known as Kramer's rule
in reality these two are identical um, if you care to write this whole thing down symbolically and you can show that this works out to be this exactly uh, so each element of this uh, x will work out to be um, adjoint of a over determinant of a times the matrix b which will work out to be this now again what happens if the denominator is 0 so the special case if a equals 0 mm, well again look at the numerator if any of the numerators is also 0 uh, inconsistent set of equations there is no solution I am sorry if uh, any of the determinants in the numerator is non zero it is inconsistent if all a i is are zero for all i the system is consistent and it has infinite solutions so we have looked at uh, two methods to how to solve a system of simultaneous linear equations in n unknowns for the non homogeneous case which means that at least one of the elements of your right hand side the b matrix is non zero now the only thing to look at that is remaining is the homogeneous system which means that every single one of the right hand side is 0. Again we can look at it uh, using this method for example if the determinant of A is non-zero there is only a trivial solution which means every single variable x1 x2 all the way to xn is 0 but if the determinant is 0 then there is an infinite number of solutions so these are the two general methods to find out the uh, values of the unknown variables x1 x2 all the way to xn and so let us take a solved example to better understand how to work these methods so let us say solve this system of equations we have x plus 7y minus 3z equals 11 25y plus z equals minus 3 and 3x minus 6y plus 2z equals 0 now as soon as you have a set of equations given to you there are a few things to check so first of all uh, how many unknowns so x y z three unknowns and you have three equations and three unknowns so the number of equations is equal to the number of unknowns now the right hand part of the set of equations so 11 minus 3 0 so clearly it is not a homogeneous system because you have these non-zero elements in, on the right hand side the next thing to check would be this determinant so this part a x equals b so let us first write it in that form so a would be 1 7 minus 3 for here it is 0 times x so 0 25 1 and 3 minus 6 2 this is your a matrix times the variable matrix in this case x y z 
equals b which is 11 minus 3 0. So after writing it in this form a x equals b the next thing to check is whether this determinant a is 0 or not. So check this calculation so 1 7 minus 3 0 25 1 3 minus 6 2 works out to be 1 times 56. I am expanding by this column. Note that if any column or row of the determinant has one or more 0 elements, it is always easier to expand by that row or column. So that is why I am choosing to expand by this column instead of by any other row or column. So 1 times 50 plus 6, so 56 minus 0 times something, the cofactor of this element which we do not care plus 3 times, so 7 minus minus 75, so 82. So the value of the determinant of A works out to be 302 which is not 0. So, so which means we can find out uh, these unknown values. So because we are taking this as a worked out example, I want to demonstrate this by both methods. So let us first try to find out the values of x, y and z by the matrix method. So using the matrix method, well x, y and z you need to find out as A inverse times B using this definition. And to do that you first need to find out A inverse. So that is adjoint of A times B over determinant of A. Um, and for calculating the adjoint, um, you need to find out the cofactors of each element of A. And so let us take an example uh, to recall C11 is minus 1 to the power i plus j, so 1 plus 1. And then uh, you block this off, block this off, so, so uh, 50 minus minus 6, so 56. and so on. I leave it as an exercise for the reader uh, to calculate each cofactor and what you can show is um, adjoint of A is basically the transpose of all the cofactors of the elements of A works out to be this so 56, 4, 82, 3 minus 7 minus 1 minus 75, 27 and 25. So A inverse is simply adjoint of A divided by the determinant of A. So 1 over 3 O 2 times this whole big matrix I am not going to write it again. And then once you have A inverse you get your unknown variables x, y, z is A inverse times B I well, will write it here 1 over 3 O 2 times 56 4 82, 3, minus 7, minus 1, minus 75, 27, 25 times your right hand side matrix which is 11, minus 3, 0 and you can do this calculation and it works out to be, let us still keep this outside 1 over 3 or 2 and first do the multiplications here and you can show that this works out to be 604, 0, 
minus 906, which finally gives you x is 2, y is 0, and z is minus 3. So this is one way to find out the values of x, y, and z.